another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a couple of TikTok trends. So I don't know if you guys are on TikTok. If you are, and if you're on like the makeup side of TikTok, you probably see a lot of hacks and like makeup like tips and tricks to make your face look different or just different techniques on how to do your makeup. So I kind of wanted to like experiment and follow a couple of these to see how they work for me. I just thought this would be a really cool idea just to see how different people's tips and tricks and hacks work on me and might work on you. If you like any of them on myself, I recommend you guys go ahead and do them on yourself as well. Also, if you guys want, you guys can go ahead and follow me on TikTok. This is my TikTok username right here. I do post on there Saturdays and Sundays and throughout the week I upload a couple videos depending on the day. But I'm still pretty active on there. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jasmine. I have a couple videos up if you guys want to go ahead and check them out. If you guys have any recommendations, leave them down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more content from yours truly. And yeah, let's get right into the video. Since I don't have like a video hack on eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and use and use my normal products and do the normal routine I do which is use the NYX brow glue and then the lip and snatch pen. If you guys aren't sure about my routine and stuff like that, the previous videos I've uploaded, I know that the one that I uploaded a few days ago goes kind of in depth on it and then also like in the other videos I mentioned this product and I've used it so I've been using it for a while now and I really like it so I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. Okay hey guys, so I've done my brows, let's move on to the first hack. So for the first hack, it's basically how to prep our base and it's supposed to be really long and effective. The first thing she mentions to do is put on some moisturizer. And she says that she takes loose powder, specifically the Fit Me one, so I'm going to use mine. And she lightly taps it all over her face. Now that I put powder all over my face, she says to take your setting spray and spray it on your face. And she also says that she uses the NYX one, probably not specifically this one because this video has been out for a while now. But I have a NYX setting spray and I'm going to go ahead and use this one. She then says to let it dry, so I'm just like waving my hands in front of my face to kind of dry down the setting spray. Now that the primer has kind of settled into my skin, I'm going to go ahead and prime with the NYX Bear With Me. Look, I'm noticing that like the setting powder is kind of like sitting on there. I don't know if you guys could see that, but it looks really weird and it makes me super worried. I'm gonna let it kind of settle into my skin. I'm gonna go with my beauty blenders because then she says after it kind of settles, go in with your foundation. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Guys, look, I'm scared. I am worried. I am petrified. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Hint Tint Skin Tint. I'm going to go ahead and apply it all on my face, and I'll be back for the next hack. Okay, so I went ahead and applied the foundation. It honestly doesn't look that bad. It's not like 100% full coverage like the lady said in the video, but it is what it is. Next up on the list is contour. I'm going to go ahead and post a video while I do it so you guys can kind of like follow along. I'm going to quickly conceal my face because I see that she kind of like puts it on her eyelids. So I'm going to quickly conceal my face. It's another hack, so we're, let's just jump into it. For concealer, I'm going to go in with the Dosa Color ones. And I'm just going to go down and then up rather than in the center because this like makes your face look more lifted. I'll go ahead and just blend it out. Okay, now let's continue with the contour. Now it's time to blend it all out. If I'm being a thousand percent honest with you guys, I think I look a little bit orange and it might be because of the freaking like contour that I use. So I'm going to go ahead and take my e.l.f. concealer and to kind of like help lighten it up in certain areas. Try my best to kind of lighten it up. I don't have a hack for powdering your face, so I'm going to go ahead and powder my face and I'll be right back. Powdered, I'm going to go ahead and quickly bronze up my face, put on some blush and all that. So let me go on to the eyes. Okay, so I finished off the face makeup. I dragged some of the like contour up to my um, 
crease like I usually do. The nose contour looks kind of harsh, but it is what it is. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes. I'm gonna do like a little, mm, I don't know, like a little gold moment. Kind of, I'm feeling kind of like glowy and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put you guys in fast mode just because this is more of like a hacks video. But if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on the eye look I'm gonna do, y'all let me know and we can do it. Okay, so I got the basis of the eye done. Um, this hack is to use Vaseline to cut your crease. I would usually just use micellar water, but supposedly this works. I'll go ahead and play the clip so you guys could see kind of like what she does. And I'm gonna do it while she does it as well. Okay, so it works okay it looks really clean it just feels really thick and weird like compared to the micellar water that I would usually use because it's water so it would kind of like just glide on but I'll give it that it looks really clean I'm like not perfect at it because once again this is my first time but I'm gonna go ahead and kind of clean it up and then put on the rest of the eyeshadow look and I'll be right back Okay, so I added some mascara, but can we just talk about how clean that crease is cut? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add my lashes and I'll be right back for the lips. And to finish off the look, 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 look. Next up, we got lips, and as you can see, I've already started lining. I'm gonna go ahead and use the Morphe Sweet Tea one. It is my favorite, you already know. I used it in the last video. It's amazing. Now I'm gonna go ahead for gloss, take 07. Oh no, 007 Amber. This is what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now with the NYX setting spray because I love it so much and I'll be back to close off the video. Okay guys, I went ahead and set my face and this is the final look. I really like the yellow. Like yellow isn't really a color I wear. As you can see, I wore it today just for the fun of it. But this yellow looks phenomenal on me. Just saying, I think that I also think that yellow looks really beautiful on darker complexions just because it makes that melanin pop, baby. But this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If I'm being honest with you, my favorite hack has to be the has to be like the first one I did where I put the moisturizer and then the setting powder and stuff like that. I was pretty iffy about it at first but I think my skin and like the base makeup just looks beautiful. I also did like the contour one and gave my face a different look. Not that I'm complaining but I just don't like like the contour right here but that's just personally me. If you guys have any recommendations for me don't forget to leave them down in the description box below. If you guys have any recommendations for me, don't forget to leave them down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos from me. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok to see more videos and to keep up with me. And if you guys want to send me some recommendations, you definitely could do it through there. And with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.